series to outline the actions and inactions that have been happening as the 2023 general elections have run across Nigeria for the past one month counting. As Nigerians are still nursing the pains manufactured by the INEC supported, scripted election riggings and the irregularities that have characterized the presidential elections over two weeks now, we have yet again recorded another disgraceful conduct of the governorship elections held almost in all states of Nigeria where governorship elections were held. We witness a lot of irregularities carried out by the security personnel attached to INEC, odd staff, and members of the ruling frontline opposition party, which have created ugly rooms for the disenfranchisement of voters who came out to vote for their choice of leaders and political party in almost all the states where elections held across the Federation. And as democracy allows the VMCII to operate, we say these actions are wrong and unacceptable in all its ramifications. As a nation who is expected to lead the path for a solid democratic fairness, equity, and justice in Africa, we are supposed to connect our nation to be placed on the path of history where the right thing is done at the right time so we can consolidate the gains of a democracy that will spread into other smaller nations in Africa with a much more valued perspective. The actions, the election organized by INEC in Lagos State for the governorship and state houses of assembly is not an election, but a movie script played by INEC as a vision that will never help reset Nigeria as a people. On the 18th of March, 2023, what actually transpired wasn't an election. What happened was a miscarriage of electoral justice. All we see flying around over the conventional and social media is an affront on our democracy. The APC administration has succeeded in plunging this country into a political aberration. Before the international community, Nigeria is now seen as a laughing stock. We are seizing this opportunity to call on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to disband and call for a total overhaul of the entire electoral body called Independent National Electoral Commission, INE, under the supervision of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. They have performed woefully. It has Professor Mahmoud. <laughs>